to the Galaxy Man Show interview show. So for my uh, two next guests are these two sensational actresses uh, in a Power Rangers uh, series called Ancient Warriors of Olympus. Uh, so I'm about to add uh, Lauren Clark and um, Anna into the live now and have a chat with Lauren Clark and Anna about their incredible roles um, in Ancient Warriors. So yeah, uh, about to add them in and yeah, have a chat with Lauren and Anna. Yeah, you have your setup, Anna. <laughs> now I do. Okay. How's it going? <laughs> good. That's good. good. I just want to say thank you so much, Lauren and Anna, for taking the time to join my show. It's such an incredible pleasure having both of you on today. Uh, to people that don't know who you both are, uh, if you can give like a bit of backstory about yourselves, and then we'll dive right into the questions. Do you want to go first, Anna? Yeah, I can go. Um, my name is Anna Hollingsworth. Um, I'm, God, how long? I'm 22, turning 23 in two weeks. Yes. Next week? Next week. Something like that. Is that week? Okay. Um, I, uh, just recently graduated from college. Um, I'm 23. I'm 23. just recently graduated from college, yay. so. Congratulations. Yay, in theater. Um, and I'm one of the co-creators with Lauren from Ancient Warriors Legacies of Olympus. Yeah. So, yeah, like. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll go now. Um, I'm Lauren. I will be a high school graduate in three and a half weeks, and I'll be a college student this fall uh, at Sarah Lawrence College, uh, studying film, psychology, writing, and a little bit of education. Um, and I'm also the other co-creator and a uh, best friend of Anna, and uh, yeah. <laughs> awesome. So I'll dive right into the questions now. So my very first question, as you guys just said, Ancient Warriors, uh, uh, yeah, Ancient Warriors, Legacies of Olympus. Uh, how does it, how does it make you both feel like being casted and cre gonna create a incredible series like this? Uh, you wanna go first again, Anna? Yeah, I'm very excited. I, I well, I think when we first started all of this, I think it was kind of a. Uh, we didn't really know where we were going to go with it. I think we we just kind of were like, let's put out a first episode and let's see how this goes. Um, and at that point, like, we haven't introduced, we didn't even introduce most of the characters in, like, the prologue episode of the first episode. Um, and, like, everyone seemed to like it. Like, the Ranger fan base and, like, even my, even my family, like, my extended family, um, thought it was really, really good. Um, so actually being able to do, like, a live action version of it now and the upcoming in July, I think that's just more exciting um, to do it uh, with people that we've worked with for a long time. Some people we had to recast and things, but mostly it's the original voiceover cast doing the film. Yeah, I, I feel really proud, uh, especially coming out of high school. And like, we were both freshmen, except she was a co college freshman and I was a high school freshman. And now it's kind of coming full circle of now it's something of Anna's about to go start working. I'm about to start my journey into college. And, like, it just feels really, really special. Like, going through the past four years of, like, doing something with everybody. And now it's, like, we're all kind of going on our own path. And it's just very awesome. Awesome. Sounds like very next question. So what can, like, people expect to see from the character, like, from all the characters in Ancient Warriors Legacies of Olympus? Like, what's... Is there any characters that stand out or is there any like favorite memorable moments or scenes that you guys have planned to like for the series? So I can't, we can't give away the next couple of episodes because, well, they haven't come out yet. Uh, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, but I think one of my favorite moments that we, that I personally recorded for an upcoming episode is where I have to do this horror movie scream at one point in the script and I it's pretty good. It's it's yeah, Anna's heard it. Um I don't think any anybody, anybody else in the cast has heard it, but I did it and I remember I texted Anna, I was like, I lost my voice. It hurts. Um, but I was just so happy. I was like, I got to do a horror movie screen. Yay. Um but just it, it's a lot of fun writing too. So yeah, but oh, and then the other one, um, and Anna you might share this one, the clo the closet scene. <laughs> oh yeah. So in season one we have this scene where Lauren's character, Abigail, traps my character and two others that, like, really hate each other, three of us hate each other, in a closet to work out our differences. Oh, my God. Um, 
And I mean, I, I can't attest for how Isley, our, our ancient pink, felt about it, but I was one of my, I just the funny scene to record because I just couldn't stop laughing because it was just so funny. <laughs> like, it was just so funny. Like, you're reading it and you're like, uh, so that's probably definitely up there, I, I would say, Lauren, that you're right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so cool. So, I'll so start next question. So, how can people relate to both of your characters for Ancient Warriors Legacies of Olympus? I'm gonna. I think. Um, there are different aspects of each character that I think people can relate to. Yeah. Um, specifically, um, with my character, she's very crazy. Um, but I've always played characters like that, like either that or moms. Just, I'm a theater, I graduated theater degree, so I'm just like, this is my life. Um, and she's very much like wanting to be like a lone wolf kind of an idea um and uh i think people can relate to that i think there's also other journeys of like family figuring out one's family um i think the journey of there's an upcoming journey of someone coming coming out we're gonna explore that later um so different things like that um i think uh, I mean, Lauren's character is definitely all about family. Like, yeah, there's nothing... family, like, my character got no. married, you know, my character got married, but she's having a hard time in, like, their first year of marriage of, like, her and, um, and, uh, Anthony are having a lot of marriage problems, um, and so it's coming to the fact of, like, you're gonna have marriage problems, you're gonna get into fights, um, you know, in one, in one of the more upcoming episodes, uh, they're gonna talk about the fact, Abigail and Anthony are gonna talk about the fact of trying to start a family and how hard that's gonna be. Um, but also talking about domestic violence and, like, mental health and, like, how important that is, um, you know, and, and realizing, like, my another thing, my character is PTSD, so, like, having, you know, PTSD attack in a couple of episodes, um, you know, which also, unfortunately, voiceover-wise can be very, very traumatizing if you don't know how to um, regulate that, which, thankfully, I have uh, terms and, like, ways to regulate that, um, but it, there are definitely a lot of ways that people can, like, connect with the show, and if there aren't ways in the show mm -hmm. that aren't there already, we can probably add them as we go, so. That's true. So, so I'll start with your next question. So, why do you both think people should watch Ancient Warriors Legacies of Olympus? Like, for people that haven't seen the series, like, what? why should people watch it? I'm gonna let you go, Anna. I, 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 I can see the Yeah, I, 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 uh, <laughs> I think people should watch a show for different reasons. I one, it's different than I think anything's ever anyone's ever a listened to or watched, like vis a vis the movie that we're about to film. Um, and just because one, um, to focus specifically on ancient Greece um, as a kind of as a theme, it has been done before, like Percy Jackson, but it hasn't been done in this specific way before, and I think that's unique and new. Um, there's a lot of diversity in the cast, um, so I think for a lot of people it's very relatable. We have um, some people that identify in the LGBTQ community as well, um, that are voiceovers, but also um, characters in the show as well, um, so you get to see the development. Um, and we are only going to do two seasons of voiceover, but I think these two seasons, you really see the development of each character. Um, and that's what we really try to hone in on. We give, we try to give each character their own episode, their own story arc. Even if it's a really short episode, you still really get to know them. Um, I also think it's just really kind of bad, badass to watch it. <laughs> um it's like a lot of fun uh we give a lot of uh what's it called um cliffhangers yeah there, there are <laughs> they, a lot of cliffhangers a lot of cliffhangers um so those are always really fun but lauren anything to add um i personally think people should watch it it's relatable i mean the entire cast are we're, a lot of us are really power ranger fans um and so for us this was kind of like a way for us to sort of have that outlet um, but also, these are people that are actors who are currently not on television. It's it's people that are mm -hmm. currently being discovered through the show that we have we thankfully have, have helped people you know get bigger opportunities because of the show. And so I mean, like we're we're also technically a small business. So I mean, like 
people are supporting us and helping us out but it's it's a family ish um <laughs> family oriented <laughs> show not sure if i would call it family friendly because it's pg-13 um but you know i i think people should watch it you know if they're interested in in drama and kind of just watching superheroes and not just for like the action but like getting really to know people and like understand kind of how the human brain works i just feel like it's a good show for that Awesome. So I'm sorry, next question. So what made you both like start getting into the whole Power Rangers franchise? Like what would be your like all time favorite season of Power Rangers and why? Anna, can I go first since I was the one that got you back into it? Yeah, yes, because I have two different ways to answer this question. I do too, but I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna um, <laughs> oh, Okay. So Go ahead. My my ultimate favorite season I have I have a couple, but I'm gonna have to like choose my my very very big one. Um, and that is Power Rangers in Space for sure. Um, two of the stars are uh, J uh Jason Nemo and Patrick David are really good friends of ours. Um, and we absolutely love them. Um, as well as but as, like, as well as a couple other the Psycho Rangers. Like it's it's really really cool. Oh. Love the Psycho Rangers. Um, and just getting to watch Power Rangers has kind of opened the door of like going to conventions um but also mm -hmm. power rangers has kind of helped ancient warriors in some way because they've also helped promote us too um so i mean just it power rangers for me has kind of been an outlet of i used to get teased a lot when i was a kid for watching it because it's considered a kid's show and so like and so now when i post about it people get mad, mad or jealous at me because i'm posting about it and i'm like it's power rangers <laughs> like, i i like power rangers just yes. leave me be it's a good show. Um, so, but I, I just think Power Rangers, just between now and, like, even back to 1993, it's, it's always been a good show, so. Yeah, so I was, I mean, I'm much older than Lauren, so I was that kind of, I was born in 1999, so I was kind of that era of, like, still sort of Mighty Morphin, but, like, also leaning towards a way not that anymore, right? Like, heading towards so, the era. Yeah, heading towards the era, right. Thank you for saying things, because I can't think of things. I know. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> so I remember watching Mighty Morphin when I was very young, and I think that's the very first concrete memory I have, um, is watching it with my sister in the morning. And then I, then I also remember also watching in the morning Jungle Fury, and so I always tell Lauren that's my favorite, because it's the one I have the best memories of, um, and the best childhood memories um, so I always say that one, and everyone's just like, you're so weird, and I was like, I know, <laughs> but I have some, I had a friend in college who's a lot older than me, she's like 31, um, and so she was really that age, like, when my room was on, and she and I would talk about Power Rangers at, in college, and she'd be the only one <laughs> that could understand it, because she grew up with him. <laughs> And so we would talk about, like, all the different actors, and, like, she's met someone, I've met someone, we, like, get to, like, talk about that, and I think, like, that, to me, is really concretely strong, um, and such a great fandom to have and be a part of, and specifically to support our show. Awesome. So, I'll talk to next question. So, who would be your all-time favorite, like, Rangers villain of all time, and why? I don't know who it is. I mean, I, I mean, I'm bi I'm biased, so I'm I feel like. I don't mind too. <laughs> what's this question? Wait, what's what? Um, I will, I will give you two answers. <laughs> I, I will say the one that I feel like I have to say, <laughs> which is pa which is Patrick David as the psycho bread ranger, because he would kill me if I didn't. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> but. In more recent years, I've really been coming sort of close with uh, Liana Ramirez, Ramirez, who plays Roxy. And so for me, I'm biased because I love her. Um, and I've interviewed her and, like, I've talked with her a bunch of times. And so I just love her herself. Um, and I would die for her. So that's why I'm biased. <laughs> um, I, I am a huge fan of, um, of uh, metal... metal bleh. Melody Perkins, uh, who plays Carone, um, and she is lit. She literally is my con mother. Um, I wrote a fan fiction, I think, when I was like a, yeah, when I was in middle school with one of, with our uh, ancient gold uh, uh, warrior, and I met her at a convention and I told her and Justin that they were like my parents in the fan fiction and like we took like a family picture I still have it like we posted it on his Instagram and um I I love both of them very very much but like 
personal favorite villain of all time is just the Astronema and just like uh, just, I love the costume I love everything uh, just uh, just about her character it's just ah, love it <laughs> yes I love that so on to our very next question so if you're like rangers from ancient legacies uh could like team up with any five ranger team members from any season like what rangers would your like rangers vibe with the most from any season that's hard Wait, give me like two seconds. I gotta, I gotta think. Yeah, I was like, Lauren, I feel like we've answered this question before, but I don't remember who we said because we both agreed on who I it would know. be. I know, I don't remember what I said either. Now I gotta think. I don't remember what we said. Wait, did, I don't remember when the last time we did this, but it was like either before Den of Fury or after, so I gotta think. <laughs> um, Mood. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I think one of them is gonna be Amelia, for sure. Um, yes. Okay. For sure. Coming back to me slowly. Um, mm -hmm. I think Amelia would definitely be one of them because of the whole ghost thing. And Samantha's really into demons, so I feel like they would vibe. Um, uh, so true. <laughs> <laughs> I think. I think I'm gonna pick somebody else from Dino Fury. Two other people from Dino Fury. Zato oh. and um. Oh my gosh! The 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 uh. I remember. I'm forgetting the black guy's name that plays the the Gold Ranger. I am blanking on his name. I on Jesus. Um. So the so the <laughs> so the two of them because like I feel like they okay. I feel like they would understand like the whole lone wolf thing with Cal, and I feel like they would relate. But also with Marco of like I want to be left alone. Um. So those though that's so far. Um. And I think the only there's there's ten of us. So I'm trying to think of five people that I could add. Um. The only other two people I could think of um, maybe would be Tyler from Dino Charge. Um, I feel like Abigail. I was going to say, I was going to also agree with you with saying Tyler. I, I, feel, like, I feel like well. Abigail and Tyler yeah. would mesh really well. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. Yeah. And then, Annie got one? Annie? I, mean, I agree with all of the things you yep. said. I mean, yeah. yeah, I know. That's why I was like, so far, so far, you've hit everyone that I was thinking of, actually. The, the only other one that I can think of, honest to goodness, would probably be Casey from Jungle Fury, and he would probably be good for Anthony. Yeah. So, I think he would be really cool. Yeah. I think he'd be really cool. And, um, Anna, your choices? I mean, she stole all my choice choices. <laughs> Um, I can't, I can't, I mean, I, yeah, yeah, she stole my choice. If you need, <laughs> if you need help, I can give you, I can, like, help you. No, 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 I, I legitimately, I legitimately was like, okay, I wanted two people from the, I wanted to, like, I literally, I was like, our minds were, like, so in sync, so weird. That's because we've been best friends for almost six years, that's the Well, like, also, we write together, so yeah. I feel like that's a little biased, Yeah. yeah. Awesome. So, on to our very next question. So, what made you both, like, get into acting in the first place? Okay, that's a hard question for me because I don't know if you mean theatrically or professionally because those are two separate things for me. Both, if you can answer both. Okay, I can answer both. Um, so, for theater, I started in a really small town theater in my home, in, not in my hometown, but, like, in where I went to school, and we did every Disney play that I can think of known to imagine except Descendants because that was out after I had left my yes. elementary school. Um, but I did a lot of theater and then I did more theater when I moved to where I'm about to graduate from high school because um, it's K through 12. And then um, and then I think it was about maybe 2018 our Ancient Black, I met my Ancient Black, Ancient Black for the first time at a Disney convention and she put me in contact with a couple of people um to start acting professionally because I really wanted to do that and then I and then she put me in contact with a couple people and kind of just grew from there of like getting to create contacts and um filming a couple of things and then I started the show you know years later with Anna and yeah uh and Anna um I just wrote a whole thesis on this actually <laughs> um I'm not even joking I'm not even joking um I, I've only really done theater and voiceover work, um, so I don't know much about the film side, which is, I mean, I, I, I've worked with people in film before doing classes and things, but not, like, um, actually doing, doing it. Um, so this is gonna be our first experience this summer, actually, so we'll see how it goes. You're um, <laughs> uh, um, so... 
Um, I've always done theater um, from a very young age. Um, I did it in, I think, first grade. I was in, like, Wizard of Oz. I've done, and then I skipped, and then I was um, part of my fifth grade curriculum. We had to put on a show. Uh, then I was a part of an acting club. Then I did another show. And then high school came around, and I needed an extracurricular so I just did theater all my four years, um, and then I became a theater major in college. So that's pretty much my story. <laughs> so also, next question. So if you both could have any dream role in, like, TV or film, what dream role God! would you have in life? Okay. <laughs> I already know mine. I do, too. Um, I'm going to go first. Go ahead. My dream role has kind of somewhat happened-ish already. Um, I recently, last year, did a pilot. Um, which we're about to start filming an episode two of it in August, which makes me very excited. Um, I'm playing this very, like, not mellow, well, like, smart and, like, very street smart, um, you know, type of character. And I, and I wanted to do something that was kind of dark, but, like, very fun, um, that kind of let me use my, my skills. And it has been a very, it's been a very fun, um, project to work on. It's called Night. Um, it's on, it's on Instagram. Um. And it's a really, really fun project, and my uh, acting teacher brought me on to sort of act in it, and I never realized how much of a role I would, I would like so much, and, like, realized that's what I want to do if I can get it, play, like, the big, tough girl that kind of has to hide her emotions a lot, which I kind of have to do as Abigail, but, like, this is- I must like, say, it's all uh, Abigail's all personality. All Abigail. <laughs> uh, but, th but this is, but uh, doing it at night, it's a little bit on a tiny bit of a bigger scale, so. Yeah. Uh, mine, um, my dream, <laughs> my absolute dream is I want to be in anything that has Star Wars in it. <laughs> I am the biggest Star Wars nerd. Um, and then my other, like, dream role, just because I'm sort of obsessed with Loki, is I would love to be Sylvie in like a theatrical production of Loki because I totally think it could be a musical and I want to make it <laughs> um, there you go. but <laughs> that's my hot take <laughs> awesome. so on to our next question so what would like both of your like favorite like tv or movie franchise be and why okay so Anna literally just mentioned it uh Loki yes. uh I am I am Marvel Loki all, all of those giant fandoms. I'm very much of a Marvel person, um, but I also grew up on Star Wars, so I'm a so I come from a very Marvel, Star Trek, all sci-fi movie household. Um, but probably Marvel, like it, it, it's one of my favorite franchises. There's there's so many different out, ins and outs. Um, the news, yeah. And I'm so I'm so excited for for Loki season two to officially start filming. Um, yes. And it's and it fills it, it starts it, filming on my birthday. Which, it's which, which is yes. so cool. I'm so happy. Yeah. Um. So definitely, <laughs> definitely Marvel, and then I think the second one would probably be Power Rangers. So. <laughs> Love it. Um. Uh. Mine will probably always be Star Wars. <laughs> I. I, I want to say I grew up on it. I, I sort of did, in a way, um, my dad, when we were kids, would have, like, movie night. And I was, like, I must have been, like, seven when I saw Star Wars for the first time. Um, and just totally fell in love with it. And, of course, my brother was born, and I only have one brother. Um, so he was my little brother, and he got me into Star Wars more than I ever had. Like, he plays the video games, and I will watch him more. He'll... Um, it's so called, we'll watch, I mean, Clone Wars. Oh, it's just, mwah. So we just were watching Obi-Wan yesterday. So also so good. Um, so I definitely think Star Wars and then it probably, um, I combine Marvel and DC. I love reading DC comics. I spend most of my time reading DC comics. Um, uh, Wonder Woman is by far my favorite superhero. Yes. Um, that has never changed as long as I've lived. Um, but I love Marvel in different aspects of it. Like, Loki is definitely one of those characters that I've always wanted a redemption story, and now that they're giving him one, I'm just like, oh, so good. Um, 
And uh, it, it delves really deep into different um, motivations and things. So definitely, I think mine would definitely be Star Wars and Marvel. So I'm sorry, next question. So like, what advice would you give someone wanting to start out in the acting industry? I think it depends on what you want to do. Mm -hmm. I think you need to figure that out. I probably will do voice acting and um, probably theater acting for the rest of my life, um, just because that is usually where I'm most comfortable. Um, I, I want to get into teaching acting and teaching theater. Um, so, um, but with theater, uh, my one suggestion, I think it's actually very similar for film, mm -hmm. is just get yourself doing anything in film and yep. doing anything in theater. Uh, even if you're not acting, because what I have found out by doing um, kind of like I call it grunt work, but like stage hand work, um, is when you get it, you understand how it all works, and then you can get into it a little bit more. Okay, this is the person I can contact if I want to audition for something. Okay, this is the person. Um, so just be open to anything and doing anything. Yeah. I mean, Anna kind of took the words right out of my mouth. Um, do anything, be willing to do anything, even if it's just background, work crew. I, I know I, I went backwards. I started acting first. Um, and now yeah. I'm going backwards and doing crew and realizing, wow, I like crew a lot more. Um, and yeah. crew is, 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 a lot, is a lot of fun, not just because, you know, obviously you, you make connections with the actors, but I remember at one point I was on crew last summer and I had lunch with all of them and then we got each other's phone numbers and like we just sat around and had lunch and it was really fun. <laughs> um, but make connections when you're on set and, you know, try, try to <coughs> also make your own content. Like if you truly want to get into acting, make your own content like Anna and I are doing. Yeah. Um, because just waiting for opportunities to kind of just come knock on your door, you know, unfortunately it's not how theater and, and film work. You kind of just have to make your own opportunities while they're there. So. Awesome. So it's like your last question. So what's next for you both for the, like the rest of 2022, like any projects that you like to announce on the show? You, you want to go first, Anna, or do you want me to go? I can go first. Yeah. Um, I... I'm going to do the Disney College program in August. I'm doing that for six months, so um, if anyone gets down to Florida, I will be there. <laughs> um, I then I'm um, gonna hope to get my master's in some sort of like youth theater, educational theater, um, so I can actually start teaching my master's degree. Um, also, I'm probably going to be vlogging my Disney college experience starting pretty soon. Um, I have to looking at a couple cameras that I want to buy for it. Um, but, um, and then we have the film, and that, that's pretty much it for 2022, for me at least. <laughs> yeah, I, I have a pretty busy rest of 2022. Uh, I... I... I graduate from high school and then I film a movie and then I start college um, and then I start pre-production on two movies that I'm filming this year. Um, mm -hmm. and this this fall on my college campus, which is going to be fun, but I'm excited at the same time, but also stressed because two movies <laughs> over the span of nine months. Um, so it's it's going to be fun. I'm excited and I'm um, just trying to get through my first year of college this fall. So, yeah. Awesome. Well, can I just say thank you so much, Lauren and Anna, for appearing on my show. It's been such an incredible pleasure having both of you on today. Uh, do, you have, you, do you both like have any last final thoughts that you both would like to share to people on the show? Um, watch our show. Yeah, watch, watch our show. <laughs> it's pretty good. Yeah, watch, I'm not going to lie. And uh, watch <laughs> when it uh comes out next year we're hoping it's coming out in august of 2023 we think so um that's that's yeah i i think i think that will probably happen yeah. but we actually have to edit it and find time for that yeah so, <laughs> um yeah that's it awesome 